Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to film another Will I Bite video. I don't feel like I do these as much as some channels that I watch. I know some people do like weekly series. I end up liking to sit and blabber. So sometimes I film these like once a month, but I feel like it's a holiday season. There's so much new makeup coming out. I was supposed to not buy anything. And let me tell you, it's, it's not good. There's so many good sales. And then Ulta sent out a 20% off coupon. So of course I had to use it. I was able to get the Dose of Colors Snow Angels palette, which I'm so excited about because I refuse to pay full um, I refuse to pay shipping for it on the Dose of Colors website when they did their Cyber Monday Black Friday sale. Everyone was buying Dose of Colors palettes and I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to place a $40 order just so I can get one palette. And so I found it on sale on Ulta for some reason and I got 20% off. So I'm jazzed about that. I yeah, I'm I bought the new Juvia's palette. Like my no bite it has tanked. But it's okay, it's my 30th birthday month. So that's what we're telling ourselves. But let's get into it. So the first thing I see on Trend Mood is the new Huda Melted Shadows in the Matte and Metal Collection. This is interesting. So I've been like going hard for Huda this year, I feel like I have bought a lot of stuff from her and I don't know I want I, lo I love the idea of this I just don't know how much use I'll get out of these like I almost wish like uh, this one shade <laughs> this like orangey shade and that berry shade were lippies like I wish she made those into lippies because they're so beautiful this is probably something I'm actually gonna pass on oh here it says the names but I can't figure out which one is which. So there's five of these and they're dual ended with two different formulas. At one end, a richly pigmented velvety matte shade and on the other, a glittery shimmer formula. So yeah, I think it's really, really cool. December 26, I might get them once I see reviews, but so far, no interest in picking those up. Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with a new cleanser. It's called the Goddess Cleansing Ritual in Citrus Radiance Cleanse and the Purifying Charcoal Cleanse. I would imagine that since these are Charlotte Tilbury products, they're probably gonna be pretty spendy. And right now I'm so happy with my cleansers. I have the Tatcha Deep Cleanse that I picked up during the Sephora sale. And I have this uh, Soap and Glory face wash, the blue one, which is a huge bottle. I use that every night to um, clean my face and I use it with my Clarisonic. So I'm really set for cleansers like right now, so I will be passing on that for the time being. Okay, this next thing, oh my gosh, I have my eye on this, but I literally bought his eye brush set, and I'm such a weirdo. Like, I keep wanting to use these, but I'm like, what eyeshadow palette should I use them on? So they're still in the packaging, just sitting there. I'm such a weirdo. And I haven't used them yet, but those are the Wayne Goss eye brush set. And he's coming out with a holiday brush set, and I can only imagine how expensive this brush set is going to be. So I won't be buying it, but it launches on Beautylish on the 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I've heard nothing but good things about Wayne Goss's brushes, so let me know if you guys are planning on picking that set up. Kathleen Lights launched another collab with ColourPop. So I saw her video on this announcement, or her announcement video, and I just, I mean, it put me right to sleep. I i just think it's so blah. Like, they didn't really need Kathleen Lights to launch this collection, but whatever. So they're doing a liquid lip bundle for $20 and a Super Shock Shadow Foursome for $18, or you can buy all the products individually. I think some of these shades are beautiful. I just... Oh my god, I don't I don't want any of it. So gonna be passing on that. And then here is something I literally put it in my cart and I was like, Karen, you're not buying another eyeshadow palette. <laughs> so this is the Glam Light Pizza palette. It includes 18 toppings and it is $40. It's a really fun palette. I was like, maybe I should get it like for you know just to be different. But I have the Glam Light, one of their first ever palettes, like when they were on Instagram trying to like pimp themselves out. I bought their palette because I found a coupon code. 
This was when I was also really into indie brands, but I wasn't, I don't know. It's like, I have so many palettes, you guys, it's crazy. Anyway, I have a Glam Life palette. It's good, but I don't know. I didn't need this, and then I saw swatches of it, and I was like, eh, it looks okay. I think this is one of those palettes that I love the concept, but I hate, like, the execution of it. I don't like all the empty space in the palette. I feel like it could have been, like, a slice of pizza or, you know, like, a pizza box shape with, like, the, I don't know. I just am not a fan of the round shape. So I'm going to be passing on that. I know Amy loves makeup here on YouTube. She has a code with Glam Light. So if you guys want to pick it up, I'll try and remember to put it down below so you guys can get a little discount on it. Sephora is collaborating with Olivia Jade to do a blush palette. Now I actually have one of these blush palettes and I do really like it. Uh, but I did put blush on like my no buy list for 2019 and I don't really love this color story. I love the shade legal and I believe that's a bronzer on her. I feel like that would be a beautiful blush on my skin tone. Um, this is gorgeous though. Like I said, I have one of the blush palettes from Sephora. So if you guys are interested, I would honestly say this is one of the better products Sephora puts out. And it's $28 and limited edition. It'll be available on December 26th. So check that out if you are on the hunt for a new blush bronzer palette. <laughs> so When Wild is dropping a bunch of new stuff. I saw they added new blushes and they're also doing some new bronzers and they did some new eyeshadow palettes. You guys, I was literally just on their website and I added the new eyeshadow palettes to my cart. And I was at a total of about $45. And I was going to do it because I've had a long day and I'm a little bit stressed. And I don't know. I managed to talk myself out of it because, like I said, I'm so behind on reviews anyway. And it's like, I don't know why I keep doing it to myself. Plus, I really don't have the money to keep spending right now, especially with us going to France and all this stuff. So I said no, but some of those eyeshadow palettes are really gorgeous. And Wet n Wild is so affordable. I accidentally this summer bought four bronzers from them, this exact same color. I accidentally ordered four of them. So I think I'm good for bronzers till like 2020. Um, so I won't, bronzers need to go on my no buy list as well. Or I'll throw some into some giveaways or something like that. Now, as I'm telling you guys how I'm trying not to shop, I also did do something naughty and I bought this ColourPop palette. This is the new 24 Pressed Single Shadow Shades, and it's called Your Dreamy or something. Oh no, the palette, the empty palette is called Your Dreamy. And they have this awesome bundle where you paid like $44 for 24 shadows and the palette. And then I used somebody's $5 off code. So if you guys know anyone that has a $5 off code with ColourPop, any of your favorite YouTubers, Please leave it in the comments because I will single-handedly keep those codes going, you know? I really appreciate getting $5 off my purchase. And ColourPop has that payment plan now, so you can just split up your payments. So I think I'm going to pay like 9 bucks every two weeks for two months. And it was easy peasy. So I did that and I'm excited! I haven't... It hasn't shipped yet, so I'm wondering what the weight is on that. Okay. This thing, everyone's already like talked your ear off, but this is the new Australia Ocean Glow Limited Edition Bronzer and Glow Compact featuring the Shimmering Skin Perfector Press Highlighter inspired by Aussie Beach Lifestyle. $38 includes new shades. I don't know how they're going to sell this. My prediction is that this is going to be on Hope Look. It is going to be available January 1st. You guys, fun fact about me, I've actually been to Australia and I can promise you that nobody in Australia gives a fuck about big highlighters that are like surfing the beaches right now. <laughs> like, I don't, this is bad. Like, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand how you're supposed to use that bronzer. Like, if you could, if somebody at Becca could like scientifically demonstrate how you're going to get the bronzer out, I would really appreciate that. And I also really hate it when brands swatch shades like the bronzer shade on like a deep skin tone like that is is that supposed to be a highlighter like I'm so confused 
makes no sense to me and I'm moving on because my mouth hurts from talking about it. Okay, here's one. Oh, I really freaking want this palette, but I have to stop myself because I bought the Ace Beauté Paradise Collection, the whole vault. You guys requested that I review it. I haven't gotten into I haven't gotten into it yet because the few times I used some of those palettes, I really hated the formula, you guys. Like, ugh. <laughs> the formula is so bad on that pa on those palettes that it like is keeping me away. And the shades on the Flare palette by Ace Beauté that is retailing for $38.99 with 15 shades is so gorgeous. Like that bright green shade called Sherbert. Like I want to buy this whole palette just for that shade Sherbert. But I'm not going to because I don't like their formula. So I'm going to have to wait and see what people think. Excited to hear their thoughts but I'm passing on it. You can now buy the Camelon D Lolita eyeshadow palette. I feel like you can definitely find, I could personally find all these shades in my collection. I think the whole beyond that, the palette looks like a snooze fest. I don't even want to talk more about it. So I'm just going to leave it at that. It looks like a snooze fest. Okay, there's a lot of new products and I'm just skipping over them because I can't be bothered. Okay, let's talk about this. The new Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. So I actually bought the first Fenty lip gloss because I thought, hey, 18 bucks, that's affordable. Let me buy this lip gloss. I'm not really a lip gloss person. You rarely catch me wearing lip gloss. I did buy two of the Pat McGrath lip glosses from the Sephora sale. Those are lovely. But I hardly ever reach for the Gloss Balm. I know to some people it's their holy grail. Some people buy every shade that they, she's come out with so far. And so I bought the original, which I thought was suitable with my skin tone. The white one, I skipped because there's no way I can pull off that lip color. And now I'm to the point where it's like, no, I really don't need a shimmering pearl, like, lip gloss, like, for 18 bucks. Like, they're not that great, in my personal opinion. I think Fenty makes some good products, but this one is not a go-to for me. So I am skipping it. This palette I'm so flippin' excited for. Juvia's Place launched their Tribe collection. I know people like give ColourPop a lot of crap and Kylie Cosmetics a lot of crap because they're always coming out with new products, but I kind of feel like Juvia's is on that train too. I feel like it's kind of been palette after palette for them this year, but not even just palette after palette, but they have been doing a lot of new products. So I'm interested to see how they'll cope with that in, you know, 2019, but this Tribe collection, I'm so happy with, after they did the Warrior palette, I was kind of disappointed, the Warrior 2 palette, and the Warrior 1, I thought was kind of boring, not really my favorite palettes from them, and then to see this was just so great, I'm so excited for that match row, the first row, oh my god, look at that green, I'm so excited, and my palette was supposed to be here today, the day I'm filming this, what day is it, December 13th, let me check. Yep, it's December 13th, and I was supposed to get this palette today, and it has not arrived, so I'm pretty depressed about that. I do think their highlighters are a little bit overpriced. They're 14 bucks a piece, and I'm a little sus about that because, or, yeah, $14 a piece. I mean, that's a lot, right? For a highlighter, like, mm, when your eyeshadow palette's 20 bucks, like, should you really be selling a $14 highlighter? Like, that's a little too much for me, so... I passed on the highlighters, but I did pick up the palette, and I'm very, very excited about it. So everyone has been, like, going nuts about Manny's holiday collection. They're so obsessed with the packaging. Everything's just, like, rocking everyone's world. I personally, I don't know. I don't think the packaging is... It'll be interesting to see it in person, because it could look cheaper in person, I don't know. I don't necessarily get the Medusa vibe with the Greek goddess. I know everyone's like, Medusa's not a goddess. So that's nice that everyone pointed that out. But I just don't see any cohesion in Manny's brand. And that freaks me out. So for example, like I was just talking about Juvia's Place. Like their palettes have an aesthetic. And the aesthetic doesn't change from palette to palette. You're always going to get like a... African-inspired, you know, woman on the front, a color 
pa like the palette's a certain color that's continued throughout the palette. Um, ColourPop palettes are the same size. They have few size variations, but essentially, you know, it is the same style. And then, you know, you just think of brands and they have like a signature style. I feel like looking at this palette by Manny and Lunar Beauty, and then you think of Life's a Drag and how tacky that palette, palette packaging was. It's just crazy to think of how different these two things are. So you wouldn't even make the mental connection that these palettes are the same or from the same brand. So that's a little bit disappointing. On the plus side though, I do think that one, you guys know I'm obsessed with like rusty colored nudes and that one nude lip does look beautiful. I don't know if it's a liquid lip or what the deal is. Actually, let me just look. Aphrodite liquid lipstick. Oh, Zaya liquid lipstick. That's his dog's name. Doesn't he have like a weird little dog named Zaya? Nude terracotta. I'm so into that terracotta life, you guys. It's gorgeous. There's a $40 lip bundle, $40 highlighting palette, $48 eyeshadow palette. Yeah, mm, pass. Sorry, Manny. Okay, Pantone did announce the color of the year. It is Living Coral for 2019. I feel like I already got the memo. You guys might have seen my collab with Miss Hannah Louise Poston. We did the five days of blush challenge and... I confessed my love for coral blushes, especially in the summertime. I just think it's such a great tone for people with my skin tone. So very, very excited to have um, Living Coral be the color of the year, even though it honestly doesn't affect me at all. Okay guys, that is everything for my Will I Buy It video today. Hopefully it was a little bit shorter than usual. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye guys.